Well, hello there and welcome to my channel, Hecate's Daughter. It's your girl, Azria. And I was about to react to Foodie Beauties. Like I had mentioned in my last video, I wanted to do some reacting to her older content. And surprise, surprise, my notifications popped up that she has a new video up on her channel, What I Ate Today. So I haven't watched it yet. We can watch it together, react together. And I'm super excited to see what kind of bullshit she's going to be pushing down our throats today. Let's get into it. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> if you want to be cool, don't delay. Download Cameo and order one today. You will <laughs> What's happening to me? Am I in the Twilight Zone right now? What am I looking at? Why has she superimposed probably one of the most horrible pictures she could ever choose <laughs> on this snatched body? Is she implying that she's going to look like that if she keeps taking the supplement? Because Chantel, girl, I got to break it to you. It don't, you could lose 2,000 pounds and you're never, you're never going to look like that. It's never going to happen. For one, you would probably have to have some type of surgery to remove all the excess skin that you're going to have because you know you're not going to be working out. I think her plan, so far I've been hearing her talk about taking this uh, supplement and I haven't really heard her say she wanted to incorporate any kind of workout regimen. So if the plan is to starve herself, then you're going to have excess skin. You ain't going to look like that girl. And also, what is she singing? Hold on. Don't regret it all. Make your day. All you have to do is pay. Hi, guys. I'm talking low because someone here is still. Yeah. All you have to do is pay and AKA get scammed out of $150 because that is how much the Unicity monthly subscription costs, which is insane. It's insane. And even though she's saying it's 30% off, it's still way too much. Still sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. <laughs> That's my cat playing with her mousy mouse. Anyways, she's not the only one with energy today. I actually woke up with um, some energy and started doing chores right away. I seriously have so much more energy lately. Didn't you just make this video yesterday? Wasn't it yesterday that she just made the video? How really, how much energy could she possibly have? Oh, I forgot. She was getting energy from the caffeine two minutes after she drank the drink. So she had one yesterday. Let's presume she had two. And then she had a quarter of one this morning. She slept in between the last two, but yet she's had so much energy. You were sleeping. Tidying up the spare room, sweeping and doing some dishes. And uh, now I'm going to start my day with this Unimate. And uh, I'm going to then have the balance and then I'm going to have something to eat. So let's get the day started. All right, I'm getting ready to make my first. None of that even made any sense. She just said that she's getting the day started, but yet she woke up and she was doing all of the chores around the house. So basically she's lying. <laughs> My first meal of the day, these products do well with intermittent fasting. That's why they give you two packets of the balance per day. So one before your first meal, which should be lunch. And then if you want to try this physician approved formula at an exclusive 30% off, see the description of this video. Well, first of all, this is not an exclusive 30% off. Everybody at the bottom of the pyramid scheme will be offering 30% off of this sham of a supplement. You're not the only one. I bet you can even find people offering 50% off of this bullshit. And then another before your dinner. So yes, I will be drinking this and then I will wait 15 minutes and have my lunch and I'll show you what I have. All right, time to. Before I look at this food looks gross, but anyway, does anyone actually believe that Salah is there sleeping at 12 o'clock? Or let's just not say it's either midday or later on. Who believes that Salah is sleeping? I don't. I think she's whispering, trying to pretend that he's there. But we all know, girl, that man is not there. Have this magnificent first meal. Now this pasta is whole grain. It's very brown. <laughs> I don't usually like whole wheat pasta, but but um, the doctor said that uh, to not eat bad carbs, like white carbs. I don't understand. So is she saying that she's cutting out her breakfast altogether and she's only having lunch? She's just having the supplement and then lunch? Because we do not believe that, Chantel. Carbs and stuff like that, but whole grains, whole wheats um, in moderation can be eaten every day. Also, the balance formula really will help with slowing down the absorption of glucose. 
I noticed that the audio has changed and you can tell that when she makes her video and she starts to edit, she tries to stick any kind of like, you know, anything about balance in there, anything at all. Just, just trying to just really shove it into her throats of her subscriber, into the throats of her subscribers. And it's real. it's sad. It's pathetic. Until my stream. That's why I drink it before my meal and I wait 15 minutes, reducing the impact of the uh, carbohydrates. And I'm having some air fried broccoli with a tiny bit of soy sauce. And I just mix the pasta with some olive oil and some arabata sauce. That's air fried broccoli. Why does it look so soggy? Ooh. And some, a little bit of harm, not the mountain that I usually eat. So, yeah. Um, bismillah. I'm going to eat this and then continue my housework for today. Girl, we all know that there is another, there's still a pot on the stove full of this shit, right? I, do you really think that we believe that you're just going to portion that out and you're not going to touch any more pasta after this? Do I even believe that's your first meal? Do I even believe that you drank that supplement? No. Yay, my new CPAP mask arrived. You're supposed to replace these every six months, so I'm way overdue. Um, it's been a little over six months anyway. So, yeah, they do have a shop here for that. And I use the F30 small for my CPAP machine. Why is she showing this to us? This is weird. I know that there's some kind of motivation behind this, and it's not just to show anything that this girl does. There is some type of manipulation. She's trying to, I don't know what it is. Maybe she's going to be saying, guys, guess what? I don't need my CPAP machine anymore. She's trying to remind us that she needs a breathing machine at night so that she can lie in the future and say that she doesn't need it anymore. That there's there's some motivation behind this. So, yeah, sleep well with the new mask. All right, here you go, brand new F thirty mask. Yeah. What are you doing on your new, on your new? Y'all, I fucking hate how she says "baby girl." So I'm a Canadian, but my family's Jamaican, right? We're West Indian, and hearing her say that shit is the most cringiest. Like on behalf of all Jamaicans, can you please stop saying that shit? It's weird. New cushion. What are you doing with your fishy fish? <laughs> Look at the cat. Hold on, I gotta rewind his face. <laughs> doing. Look at him. He's like, bitch, shut, shut the fuck up. Because you know damn well you don't even talk to me whenever you're not on camera. Like, I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. <laughs> you cannot stand her. It's hilarious. Fishy fish. <laughs> no, this is, the, this is the way. He right now, BB, BB, BB Gyal, is channeling how we all look at the screen. Every time Chantel says, this is all I ate today. I went for a walk. Salah's sleeping. And anything that she says, guys, this supplement's gonna work. Everything. I I lost this is how much I weigh. This is the look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Princess. Hi guys. Hi. Sorry. I'm happy to see you guys. I'm not sure who she was talking to, but she looked miserable as hell. Her voice, it's like it channels this fake, like, I'm super excited. But her face, her demeanor, her eye, everything says, like, fuck my life. I'm tired of the internet right now. <laughs> mm. No, I shouldn't probably be eating this, but I'm going to anyways. Starting my life. Wait, what? Didn't she just have a clip of her saying that she was eating well and that she was just going to have that small portion? And literally, not even a minute later, she's talking about what she shouldn't be eating. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm having soba. And I'm having beef because I haven't had beef since the do doctor told me not to. And I'm like, whatever. I'm rebelling today because, you know... Wait, what? I have to rewind that. She's rebelling today because what? You know, I'm hungry for it. So I can't hear what she's saying there. I don't know why she's rebelling, but girl, I thought the supplement was working. I thought you had high energy. You weren't hungry. You were just eating small portions. Cut to three and a half seconds later. She's eating because she just she's just gonna eat. She's eating what she's not supposed to because she's having one of those days. And the girl, th your supplement is bullshit. It's not working. Thank you for proving it to us in three minutes and 50 seconds. You're a great fucking salesman. So to be fair, 
I did the most exercise I ever did <laughs> in a long time. No. Um, exactly. No. Come on. We all know that if you were actually exercising, it would be another video because you're trying to get in the ad sense like nobody's business. If you were exercising, where did you exercise, girl? Where? What were you doing? Where? Where? How? Who? When? With who? Where? What gym? On what machine? Was it a walk? Push-ups? Jumping jacks? What exercise were you doing? Stop this. I'm trying to... So these are like beef soba noodles or something like that. I'm trying to... I'm eating dinner. Um, I'm trying to like do a massive clean and organization before I head to Canada because like I need to leave the house in like a state where I feel comfortable leaving so, and Salah's a grown adult and he's like don't worry about it you know when you come back <laughs> yeah right I just had to cut pretty much cut the bullshit massive clean and organization of where it does Salah have a separate place that you need to clean because from what I see you don't have anything what are you organizing and that's okay. Minimalistic living is, I get it. I'm not one of those people, but I respect it. But why are you acting like you just don't have couches and like a coffee table and a computer desk and then the kitchen? You just, I just saw you with a new pot just the other day. So what are you fucking cleaning and organizing? Like, <laughs> girl, first of all, in this dynamic, usually there's a certain household chores that are delegated, right? And usually women take on the more, um, I guess you could call it maternal, but you do more more of the house housework. Asala ain't telling you don't worry about it. And secondly, he don't even live there, girl. I, don't, I just don't believe that he actually sleeps beside her every night while she got that goddamn CPAP machine. They're, they're really loud CPAP machines. I don't know who, if you guys have ever used one or if you, just Google it. They're very loud machines. I just don't think he's there. And she keeps trying to insert all these side comments like you know sal's like don't worry about it i know he's a grown man girl we have seen how you like to keep your your living space okay you're you're a nasty girl i don't think any of this has ever changed you go to sleep with your makeup on you i don't think you brush your teeth daily you use your hijab as a tablecloth i don't believe that you are doing jack shit for salah come back you'll see this house transform don't worry about it no i need to worry about it let me have a bite here please okay bye Right. Salah Sala barely says two fucking words to this woman whenever we, hi, beautiful. What are you doing? I, I remember when she was waiting at the doctor's office for to, to give her pee sample or her diabetes results, whatever. And he's like, hello, beautiful. What are you waiting for? I was like, you, you really have nothing to say to this woman. What do you mean? What is she waiting for? Did you not drive in the car to the doctor's office? Don't you see her holding a urine sample cup? Like, buddy, you have, he has nothing to say to this woman. Mm, not too salty. I mm -mm, love cabbage. She certainly is eating like someone who's hungry, isn't she? If you weren't hungry and you just drank a fucking gallon of a uh, thick powdered supplement full of fiber and and vitamins and you're and you got all this energy why are you eating like you haven't eaten before but just washing everything i washed i'm glad i'm taking the unimate oh my god honestly go. it's working with energy levels i don't nap anymore i used to sleep a lot and take naps like i couldn't function without taking naps you know at one point even so was like you're gonna sleep again <laughs> Listen, there, there's the lion ass face again. <laughs> Am I tripping out? Did I fall into a time warp and I, I just came back to reality? Did she not just start drinking this shit yesterday? <laughs> like, how many hours has it been since she had these drinks? She's like, I don't even need naps anymore. <laughs> Sal is telling me like, oh, you don't even sleep the way you used to sleep. Bitch, it's been eight hours. It's been 12 hours. Why are you acting like such a huge lifestyle change has happened? <laughs> Oh my God, this girl. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can, but I can't. You know what I mean? I've managed to pause it on that lion ass face again. Girl, do we, does anybody actually believe this is how her day went? That she only ate the little bit of broccoli and pasta in the afternoon. She was up in the morning. Sally was sleeping. She was cooking. She was clean or she was cleaning. She exercised. <laughs>
And then for whatever reason, she's like, guys, I, I know I shouldn't be eating this, but I'm going to, I'm going to mow it and just shove it in my mouth like a forklift because the internet, the internet's bothering me. I thought you were busy. How do you fucking know what the internet's saying, girl? Aren't you busy? Aren't you busy being active? And I noticed that. Like, I don't need to take naps. I actually like my oven needed to be cleaned. I spilled, I was baking something and it all spilled over. When I made my pot. When, oh, okay. She's saying was Lies. Pot. <laughs> Lies. She's lying right there because she said I was baking something as in when people say, oh, I was baking something. You don't really talk about days before you'd be like, well, when I baked the pot pie, you don't say I was baking something. Right. So clearly, I'm sorry, but she was baking something today. She was baking something. She probably ate whatever she baked in between the pasta and the broccoli and then whatever the hell she's eating right now. Girl, you just you told on yourself. <laughs> I clean the oven, the elements. I hate cleaning those great things inside the oven. The fridge, the freezer, the air fryer, the microwave. <laughs> the the did you know that your washer and dryer have these like filter things you have to clean? Uh like once a month? Clean those out. Um you know what I find so odd? You show us the most bullshit boring content all the time, right? You're not binging anymore. Wouldn't that be a great video for her to upload? Watch me with all this energy, guys. Why isn't she uploading any proof of all the energy that she's getting from the supplement? That's, that's how you would do it, right? Here's me exercising, guys. Here's me cleaning out the filter. Here's me cleaning out the stove from the fucking uh, apple crumble that I just baked and shoved into my mouth in between the broccoli and the food that I'm eating right now. Here, <laughs> you know, she doesn't show you anything. She just comes, guys, I don't take any naps. I woke up. I did all this work. Like, bitch, you're lying. I'm still, you know, I have some time. I'm starting now because I don't want to be stuck with it last minute, like I was in Canada. I'm so afraid of being like I was in Canada. You know what's kind of crazy too, is that she woke up and she did all this. She washed and cleaned everything but her fucking face. Like what? why is her makeup on the, what is going on with that eye? She's got eyeliner from like the day before. The other eye has no makeup on it. She's literally been up since the morning, walking around doing all this shit, but you ain't washed your own face, girl? You ain't washed your body yet? Ill-prepared, messy, my life was a mess. My home was a mess. I'm so afraid of becoming like that again um, because I didn't like being like that. People think that people have messy homes um, or hoard or, or become hoarders because they love living in filth. No. I was barely able to function. So um, this is so. What is she talking about? I'm not sure what she's talking about because was, I just know that I was watching her content before and she was functioning. She was in her car every minute. She was eating. She was going out to see Nadir. Nadir. I don't really know how to say his name. If it's Nadir or Nadir, let's call, just say Nadir. She was taking her wheelchairs. She was on live. She was, she, was doing, she was getting her nails done. She had her nails done. So what is she talking about? She was barely functioning. You're just nasty. You're just nasty and you don't care to clean your place. And I guess you're doing it now because you know that your you, your your relationship is hanging by a thread and he's not going to tolerate that shit. But that's why. So good. I don't know. The beef is really tender. I, I'm afraid to get beef with like Asian food because especially like Chinese food takeaway, it's like usually chewy. Like I love beef and broccoli, but it has to be tender. <laughs> Right. As if she were if she were to order beef and broccoli. Have you ever seen this girl sit there and say, that's gross? Even the stuff that you know, like when she made that gross fish dish and put it inside of the oven and all that cream and it, it looked disgusting. And she had all that lemon. She still lied and said it was good. This woman has never said, that's gross. That's bad food. I don't want to eat this. So what is she talking? It could be it, it could be a fucking cow sitting in the noodles on top of the on the table and she would eat it. Not like rubber. And I didn't get any sides with it because I had the, the balance, the Unicity Balance fiber drink before eating this. But yeah, the energy is crazy. And I don't feel my heart rates. I don't feel like on, you know, that like you would get when you're drinking an espresso. It's just like a subtle energy. And um, I'm, I did all the floors. I did, I did a lot of cleaning and it was for someone like me. Girl. Just stop. You're just making things. Ten if you would just be a little bit honest, you might have a shot at somebody buying this. But the bullshit that you're trying to spew right now is insane. Are you kidding me? You're saying that you've retired the seal position and now you, 
did you hear what she said she did? She mopped the floors. She cleaned the oven. She even cleaned the washer filters. She cleaned the air fryer. She, like I said, she cleaned everything but her face. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. Me, it was a lot of <laughs> housework. If you look it up, rigorous housework is good exercise. I clean my floor, um, my floors three times, especially the kitchen. <laughs> look at those shifty eyes because she's lying. That's correct, everyone. She just said that she cleaned her floors not once, not twice. <laughs> But three times, y'all. <laughs> I pour boiled hot water with vinegar all over the floor. Then I, I take the this like stick thing that I have a drain in my kitchen floor. I love it. Then I fill the mop bucket with Dettol and dish soap. Mop it. Then I fill up. I put like hot boiling water all over the floor, and I rinse it. You know. So, yeah. Like I said, what? She puts hot boiling water all over the floor and then rinses it. So, but she has, she has a bucket with, with water and Dettol, but she takes hot, what? I, I, that doesn't make any sense to me. I have to rewind this. And dish soap, mop it. Then I fill up, I put like hot boiling water all over the floor and I rinse it. Why would you put hot boiling water all over the floor if you, I mean, it would make sense if you had a mop and you put boiling water into the mop bucket and then you added the cleaning detergents. But why would you mop the floor and then pour hot boiling water all over the floor to drain? What? Did you... Girl, it's got to make sense, okay? If you want people to believe your lies, they have to be logical. There's no reason why. So she's trying to say that she did that three times. Are you saying that you mopped your floor and refilled the bucket and poured hot water onto the ground? Three different times you did that. Rinse it, you know? So, Yeah. Like I said, I'm just paranoid at this point to become like my old self when it comes to a clean home. That was not a very mentally healthy spot in my life and it traumatized me a bit. How are you traumatized by your own behaviors? <laughs> what? I've never heard anyone say, yeah, I traumatized myself. <laughs> I mean, shout out, leave a comment if you've ever traumatized yourself. I don't I don't know if that's possible. I personally don't think that's possible, but I could be wrong. But girl, just just admit that you why would you be fearful of becoming something? Just don't fucking do it. Like kind of like when people get weight loss surgery and they lose a bunch of weight and they actually become the opposite. They actually develop anorexia or some kind of eating disorder the opposite of obesity they become underweight because they're so afraid to put weight back on i'm like that with cleaning right now so guys before she wasn't like that with cleaning but after taking the supplement all of a sudden she's got a fear of being the none of this even makes any sense she's just looking for shit to say and it's all, if you really listen to everything she's saying right now, it all boils down to her taking the supplement and her energy levels being increased. Is there that much? There's so much caffeine in it, right? And it gives you so much energy from the caffeine, but it doesn't give you the effects of coffee. So how, how much caffeine is in it? You don't feel the caffeine. It doesn't make your heart race, right? But it's so much caffeine that you're not taking naps and you're cleaning your floor three times. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I used to just like semi hoard. I would hoard stuff. I could say I was like a hoarder. Um, I love having dinner and just talking. <laughs> I have no friends. No. You don't. You don't have friends. You know what? If you did have friends, it would be nice for you to go out with them. That would be content, even though I would never watch it. But <laughs> you do have some fans and subscribers that are talking shit in your comments saying they want to see more. So you've been cleaning. You have friends, apparently. But we don't ever see any of this shit. You exercised. Well, first she said she exercised. And then she goes, well, working cleaning is like exercise. So even though I said I exercised, what I meant was I cleaned and mopped the floor four times or three times. That's what I meant by exercise. Like I didn't actually, you know, do like an exercise regimen. So I'm getting ready to go to Canada and I'm going to clean my home, organize things. I'm not saying exactly when I'm going, but, you know. I'm sure you guys can imagine in the near future, I wouldn't have announced it, 
but <clears throat> um, there's a lot of health care I need to get. Why? Why do you need health care? Girl, you have found the, the holy grail. You got the supplements. You're about to reverse your, your sleeping issues. You will not need a CPAP anymore. You're about to lose so much weight. You've even found a body to pin your head on to show us the future, what you're going to look like in the future, right? You're exercising, you're cleaning, you're sleeping less. You're going to be fine. You don't need to go to the doctor for what? You're reversing everything right now, girl. One thing in particular is hormone replacement therapy. I used to be on a stradial patch. I stopped taking it. Um, and I need to get my bone density because when you go through menopause at a young age, it can affect your bone density. So they wanted me to have a scan before and I just never went because that was another part of like not taking care of myself was I would not go to my appointment. Another thing I want to touch on, I did make a community post, but I see a lot of people saying that unicity is an MLM, multi-level marketing. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. This is this is the juicy part. I'm waiting for it. Come on. Come on. What is Not it? Not all MLMs are scams. I don't know if there are any, maybe. But this is, I literally didn't have to invest any money to be scammed on. These are like reputable. If you're buying good products that have a good reputation, like these products are in the physician's desk, uh, physician's reference desk. You can look it all up. It's easy to Google. But when you're Googling information, please get it right because people were like, you know that Unicity supports Israel. No. If you click that link where it says we support Israel, it's a company. Wait, what? <laughs> what? You know, people are saying that Unicity supports Israel, but if you go to their actual website where it says they support Israel and you click on it... <laughs> You know, they just like to put shit up on their website. It doesn't mean they're actually doing it. Uh, guys, come on. I mean, do your fucking research. Why would you presume that if you go to the website and it actually says something on the website, right, that it's not true? But you do expect me to believe that it's been approved by a physician and a clinician, right? You expect me to believe that you're following the FDA guidelines because the website says that. But don't believe that they're supporting Israel when the website says that. Okay, you got to pick and choose what you believe based on what I want you to believe. Do you not know how this works? A company called Unicity Healthcare. It's a geriatric home. It's a geriatric healthcare um, company. It's not the same Unicity. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what kind of reaction video this is because I'm just laughing. First of all, screenshot, baby. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this. One second. Chantel, Chantel. Do you think you're talking to toddlers? I don't understand. She really thinks that y'all are stupid as hell. Do you not see the disrespect? Guys, it's on the Unicity website, right? And it says Unicity Healthcare, but it's not the same Unicity. What we do is it's like any name that is the same name as Unicity, we just put everything onto the one website. It just makes things a lot easier. We share the website costs. It's actually all separate businesses. It has nothing to do with each other. It's not the same you did. <laughs> oh, shit. This girl kills me. For me, I'm seeing benefits with the product already, um, especially with the energy levels and reduction in appetite. I didn't get any. Usually I would get a whole bunch of spring rolls and like a soup, but I just got this because I knew the balance would make me full before. And it's not just Metamucil. It's a. Yeah, guys. Yeah. So um, even though I know damn well, that there's a mountain of food in the kitchen and I've only portioned out my food into this container to make it look like there isn't. I'm telling you, this is all I'm eating. There's no soup. Soup? Where, where's your soup? Do you see soup? Do you see soup anywhere, guys? If you don't see it, then it's not there. The actually patented formula. So it's their own formula. But it's, you know, it's a fiber drink. But it has other benefits. Um. So what does that have to do with anything? So what? There's it's a patented formula. So they but they took a bunch of shit that nobody else did, stuck it all together, right? Because that's what a formula is. It's a bunch of different things put into one, right? And they patented it. So what? What is that? So what? What's your point? What is your point? Nothing is wrong with an MLM, as long as you're being honest. I don't. I didn't fully understand the everything about the program in my first video but 
Chantel, if you didn't understand everything about the program, then why the fuck are you pushing it on to other people to buy? Why? Because you're greedy. You're a liar. You were pretending that you knew everything about it, right? When it suited your purposes. But then when you got called out and people did their research, all of a sudden, oh, I didn't know everything about, well, then shut the fuck up and keep it to yourself then. Um, I corrected some of the misinformation, but didn't do it purposely to mislead people. But... Yeah, and by correcting the misinformation, it what she means is she wrote in her own comment section, "Oh guys, it's not FDA approved, um, but you can but they're following the guidelines." And she wrote it in her own comment section and she didn't pin it. So anybody who does not scroll through her comment section will not see that it's not FDA approved. And she didn't even take out the misinformation out of the video. You can go onto YouTube and edit your videos. It's not like you've uploaded it now and then that's it. She could have easily changed it, but she doesn't want to. What she's trying to do is stop people from saying you're a liar and say, hey, guys, I put it I put it in my comment section. I corrected it, but still take the opportunity to try to mislead as many people as she can in the meantime. It's like this false accountability, which she does very often. Bitch, you're lying. It's like having a business kind of, but without having to put any money into the logistics. You don't have to, to worry about shipping. You don't have to worry about patenting the, pro patenting the product paying for the packaging um you don't have to do do anything you know the products that foodie chantelle foodie beauty chantelle Oro, cloro whatever the fuck your name is did you get those packages for free if you didn't get those packages for free okay then you have contributed to the making of that product the person above you sold it to you and now you're trying to sell it to someone beneath you and all of y'all are going to get a percentage based on what you sell is that not is that not what an MLM is or am I tripping? Yeah. If it's a product you enjoy, it's easy to promote. Um notice how she says in this video that she was I didn't know everything about the product and I corrected the misinformation, but she hasn't mentioned what that misinformation is yet. She didn't mention it in the last video. She didn't put in any edit into the video and say, "Hey guys, at the end, I made a mistake. She hasn't taken out the misinformation and she hasn't reiterated what the misinformation is here either. Oh, it's some misinformation. It's the most important misinformation, bitch, okay? It's it's the FDA approval. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I really enjoy it. So it's easy for me. I really enjoy it, but guess what, y'all? Even though you're seeing me scarf down this goddamn cabbage and beef, you only saw like what one quarter of the drink, not even a quarter. It was just like she popped it open and just drank the little portion at the top. I have not seen the bitch drink the drink since then. But we'll see. I mean, if it turns out that it does nothing for me, of course I won't promote it anymore. But so far, the energy I had to do, a lot of the cleaning I had to do today, when I usually it's like pulling teeth for me to get energy to do it. She can't even look. Well, first of all, she is so pissed right now, right? Remember yesterday she was singing an 80s song. I don't remember what song it was. She was so happy. Guys, da -da 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 -da, I have so much energy. Uh -huh. Now she is fucking livid and you can see it. Even now, it's like, you know. Yeah, you got you got a lot of energy for this little mini rage you're giving off right now. <laughs> I was up pretty early too, doing all this. So yeah, I, was, I wasn't cooking today. Are you guys like that? After I clean my kitchen fully, I don't want to cook in it. <laughs> Chantel, you never want to cook. Every time this girl buys food, she's always like, I didn't want to cook today because I'm upset. I didn't want to cook today because I'm tired. I didn't want to cook today because I don't feel like cutting vegetables. I didn't want to cook today because I cleaned the kitchen and I cleaned everything in it. I didn't want to cook. It's always, I did. It's, you just don't like to cook. Just say it. I don't like to cook and I like to buy, buy my food. It pains me to make it dirty again. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, there you have it, y'all. Once again, foodie beauty proving the internet that she will stoop to any level of depravity to make money. <laughs> So I decided to look up what a pyramid scheme is versus an MLM, and I found an article on the balancemoney.com website, which I'm going to link below. And there is a chart or a picture, I guess, that has four uh, ways that you can recognize a pyramid scheme. So the first way is there's no inventory buyback. So that means that the person that has given Chantel the products has basically fucked her. <laughs> They have said, guess what? You're about to buy this product off of us and uh, you, you can use it. But if anything goes wrong for whatever reason, no matter how much you bought, we ain't buying it back from you. <laughs>
The second way to recognize a pyramid scheme is large startup costs. Now, I don't really know what that means because large is something that is a subjective term. What someone would consider, there are men out there that would think that Chantel is skinny compared to what another person that they might think is large, right? There's people that, it's just a subjective term. I don't really know what that means. I'm not sure if there's an actual monetary amount that if you go over that amount, it's considered large startup, but whatever. The third way to recognize a pyramid scheme is an emphasis on recruitment rather than sales. So if the person at the top is telling Chantel or the person above her, don't worry about the product. You just want to get as many people to, to follow you and to become sellers themselves. That would make it a pyramid scheme. But since she's just trying to push the sales onto you, right, and get you to buy the product so that she can get a certain percentage from the sales, that is, that's the difference. That's why it's not a pyramid scheme. Like, give me a break. And the fourth and final way on how to recognize a pyramid scheme is no interest in consumer demand or market research. So I guess because Unicity knows that people want to lose weight, they're not they're not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> this is all a bunch of bullshit to me. Anyone can easily just present like it, for example, an emphasis on recruitment rather than sales. That's just language, right? You can tell that Chantel wants people to buy the product from her that are beneath her. And she's peddling out the product to them, but she's not saying, hey guys, come work for me and sell the product. What she's saying is just buy the product from me directly. But either way, the bitch is going to profit off of you buying the product. She's literally recruiting. How is she not recruiting people? I guess because the term recruitment means that they're going to be working for you as opposed to being a customer. I, I really don't. It's just a bunch of bullshit. It's just a way for them to skirt the legalities. But either way, if you look at it, honey. The person at the top is making the most money and the person at the bottom is making the least money and the person beneath them is making less money and everybody is going to profit at different levels. That's the shape of a fucking pyramid. It's a pyramid scheme. Okay. It's a scam. So whatever. Cut it any way you want. Anything that Chantel is presenting to the public is going to be something that's negative for us. <laughs> she ain't ever done right by anybody. <laughs> so, you know, please don't buy her product. I think I mentioned this in my last video. Don't buy it. Just go and get some Metamucil. She keeps saying it's not Metamucil. It's Metamucil. She's talking about a formula. I can make a formula at anything. I can put a bunch of different chemicals together and I formulated something and I could put a patent on it because nobody else gives a shit about what I formulated. Doesn't mean that it's actually a good product. Anyway, that's, I can't with this girl anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Please like, and subscribe and I'll be back tomorrow. Um, hopefully I can get this video out where I'll be doing a reaction to her last or a weigh in that she took in 2021. And I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. And once again, shout out to my one subscriber that I got yesterday. I love you. <laughs> Bye.